एक्सरसाइज सिक्स एफ सेकेंड सेक्शन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम सेकेंड सेक्शन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम शो दैट इंटेग्रल x to the power of n e power minus x dx is equal to minus x to the power of n e power minus x plus n into integral x to the power of n minus 1 e power minus x dx. ओके इंटेग्रल एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन ई पावर माइनस एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन ई पावर माइनस एक्स प्लस एन इन टू इंटेग्रल एक्स टू द पावर ऑफ एन माइनस वन ई पावर माइनस एक्स डी एक्स वी हैव टू प्रूव सो लेट अस कंसीडर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड अप्लाई द इंटेग्रेशन बाय पार्ट्स ओके लेट अस टेक लेफ्ट हैंड साइड so left hand side integral x to the power of n e power minus x dx now in this problem let us take first function as x to the power of n algebraic function e power minus x is the exponential function using li ate rule so now this becomes the first function this becomes the second function now first function x to the power of n integral of second function e power minus x dx right minus integral d by dx of x to the power of n and integral of e power minus x dx and whole dx now what is the integral of e power minus x dx the integral of e power minus x dx is e power minus x whereas derivative of minus x is minus 1 so we get the integral of e power minus x is minus e power minus x so this we can write the minus x to the power of n e power minus x minus integral now the derivative of x to the power of n what is the derivative of x to the power of n the derivative of x to the power of n is n into x to the power of n minus 1 so n into x to the power of n minus 1 whereas integral of e power minus x dx is the minus of e power minus x and this dx now this can be written n minus n take common so minus x to the power of n e power minus x minus into minus plus n integral x to the power of n minus 1 e power x minus dx see let us verify the rhs so that is minus x to the power of n e power minus x plus n integral of x to the power of n minus 1 e power minus x dx hence it is proved so this is equal to rhs now let us move to the next problem second one if in is equal to integral cos x to the power of n dx then show that show that then show that in is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 by n or 1 by n times no problem into sin x plus n minus 1 by n 
i n minus 2. So, this is called reduction formula for the cos. So, integral cos x to the power of n dx is taken as i n, then we have to derive the formula for i n by using reduction formula. Let us do it. So, now here i n is equal to integral cos x to the power of n dx, this is given. Now, this can be written as like this integral cos x to the power of n minus 1 into cos x dx. So, we can split as the product of two functions cos x to the power of n minus 1 into cos x dx. Now, in this case both are trigonometric functions here better take this cos x to the power of n minus 1 as first function. So, the cos x to the power of n minus 1 integral cos x dx and minus integral d by dx of cos x to the power of n minus 1 this we can write like this cos x to the power of n minus 1 and integral of cos x dx and whole dx. So, now cos x to the power of n minus 1, what is the integral of cos x? Integral of cos x is sin x. So, this is sin x and minus let us find out the derivative of cos x to the power of n minus 1. What will be the derivative of cos x to the power of n minus 1? So, that is n minus 1 into cos x to the power of n minus 1 minus 1 n minus 2 whereas, cos x differentiation is minus sin x and integral of cos x dx is sin x and dx. So, now bring this minus n minus 1 common we get cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x this becomes plus n minus 1 integral of cos x to the power of n minus 2 sin x into sin x is sin square x dx. Now, let us change this sin square x, this sin square x in terms of cos square x. We know sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x. So, in the next step let us replace sin square x by 1 minus cos square x. So, now this i n becomes cos x to the power of n minus 1 and sin x plus n minus 1 times integral cos x to the power of n minus 2 into 1 minus cos square x dx. Now, we have to simplify this one, then what do we get? We get the two integrals, this multiplied by 1 and this multiplied by cos square x. Let us see. So, if you multiply this into this one, and if you multiply this into this one. So, this can be written cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x and plus n minus 1 times integral cos x to the power of n minus 2 dx and minus n minus 1 integral cos x to the power of n minus 2 into cos square x minus 2 plus 2 cancel this will be cos x to the power of n dx. This is very very important step for us, because again the integral of cos x to the power of n dx appears here. So, in the place of this we have to write i n. So, let us write it. 
So, this is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x plus n minus 1 as for the sin this can be written i n minus 2 and minus n minus 1 i n. So, what is our aim? So, our aim is to determine i n value. So, this minus of n minus 1 i n bring this side. So, i n plus n i n and minus i n is equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x plus n minus 1 i n minus 2 this plus i n minus i n will be gets gets cancelled. So, we have n i n equal to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x okay, plus n minus 1 i n minus 2. Therefore, i n equals to cos x to the power of n minus 1 sin x by n plus n minus 1 by n i n minus 2. Hence, it is proved.